and recording so today's session what we're going to do we will see what all the options that are available in VMware update manager okay and we'll see how we can upgrade the host patching we cannot do it but currently internet is down on that particular subnet is not configured to the other internet what I have I can say okay. sorry for that but yeah we can do the upgrade definitely so how we how we can do the upgrades and stuff let's see okay so what I will do let's imagine we, uh, what is the significance of this update manager what is the significance of this update manager idea why we need this update manager Vivek for new features so basically we need update manager for two purposes one is it as compliance patching and another one is upgrades what do you mean by compliance patching and what do you mean by upgrade imagine what is the current version of our vCenter 6.7 Seven, right six point seven now I have a cluster which has three different host what is the version of this ESXi host six point seven hmm? six point seven imagine i have some 6.5 host or 6.0 host can i add these two into 6.7 cluster or a 6.7 vcenter first first question Can I add or not? Yes, we can add. Okay. Now, this 6.5 host has some features. Okay. And 6.0 has, host has some features. Imagine this will support 2 TB RAM for a virtual machine. Example. I'm just giving an example. I don't know the benchmark values. I don't remember exactly the maximums for each version. Okay, but imagine two. this will support 2.5 TB. This will support 3 TB. Imagine there is one VM which is running on 6.7. If I add 6.0 host into cluster, this is running with a 3 TB RAM does this vm will come into 6.0 host during the drs or a v motion cannot because the maximum limit is 2 tb right that means yes the, the virtual machine compatibility is very important here to upgrade sorry to add any kind of host into existing cluster so worst condition what you can do you can create one more cluster and add similar kind of host with the similar versions in another cluster 6.0 that's fine because all the hosts on this cluster are having the same capacity levels so there's no point of conflict that is one way that is one way you can manage your compute resources very efficiently but my 
aim is using update manager i want to upgrade any of these host onto 6.7 understood yes okay so how we can do the upgrades let's see for that what i need i need at least 6.5 or a 6.0 host let me identify if i have something like that go to my main, i'm sorry go to my main host okay so update manager enables centralized automated patch and version management of vmware vsphere and offers support for vmware esxa host virtual machines and appliances with the update manager you can perform following task upgrade a patch host install or update third party softwares on host upgrade virtual machine hardware vmware tools and appliances these are the three things that it can do let's see one by one let me go to my main host login what happened to this strange So what we will do, we'll go and deploy 6.5 host. Mysterious PR SXI 6.5 dot Select. Let's go to softwares. Six point five custom drivers. No, not this one. Yeah, six point five update one. This is one. Okay. SSD. Okay. Next. I'll put it on VLAN. Thirty. Thin provisioning. let this get deployed once the deployment is done what we will do we will assign an ip and i want to add this host back into vcenter okay once once it is added to the vcenter we'll see how we can upgrade this host to 6.7 Almost done. Let this finish. It's being powered on. Let me take the remote control. Come on. see what is the free IP now it's hard to remember the IP addresses so let me get one tool So what I will do in, in subnet 30, you remember what, what all the free, free IPs that we have, we can use randomly one of the IP, but if you want, if you want to query the available IPs, you can use.
can use this tool. Well, now just run. I don't want to install it at the moment. So it is waiting for IP, right? So what I will do, I'll give the subnet. IP, right? Can let's see. Can go and scan it. Otherwise, I have to disconnect from the network and reconnect once again. Let's see. Hopefully, it should. So, yeah, let me flip the network. You got disconnected. I'm sorry, you will get disconnected for a second. Okay, I'll be back in. I'll be back in one minute. Please be online. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. If you look at, see, yeah, yeah, I'm still here. If you look at, you see, some of the IPs that I have already used. Okay. So you can give a whole subnet that will scan and tell you what all the IPs that has been used. Okay. Rest all IPs you can, you can consider as a free IPs. So I'll take 60. Password is go to configure IPv4, set the IP 192, 168, 30. Dot, sorry, 30.60 and subnet 30.60. Sorry, 30.1 is the gateway. Find and what is the DNS server 192.168.30.55, right? Exit 6.5. Yes. That's it. Done. So what I will do? I'll close this console. I'll go back to my directory and vcenter go to dns if you want you can add a dns otherwise you can simply add a host it's not a problem add a host east us br esx 6.5 192 30.60 Record here. Is US here six six point five one ninety two one sixty eight thirty dot sixty. Okay, six point five is not accepting. 
that is the reason why it is creating one more record it's okay let's delete the record and delete it space pr let's say 65 68 30 dot 60 that's it let me add this into uh, sorry i don't want to add that into cluster i will add into individual host okay host us pr 6 maverick cloud.com let's try <clears throat> understand that password yeah it's covered it's okay no license nothing no virtual machines nothing excuse me It. now you see if i go to cluster updates now you see one esxa host is running on 6.5 another three esxa hosts are running on 6.7 okay what all the things that update manager can do if you go to cluster there's a last tab here okay and vmware tools if you have if you have a virtual machines running on outdated vmware tools that you can upgrade and virtual machine hardware i'll explain the compatibility later on okay so what is the aim now the aim is i want to upgrade this host summary i want to upgrade this host from 6.5 to 6.7 how to do that let's see so for that what i need i need few things to consider imagine one of the host is running okay which is already in the cluster that's okay see you can add add a host into cluster it, it is not stopping you to add a host into cluster but the only the problem is compatibility issues if you see 6.7 sorry 6.5 go to alert ha is not configured okay i'll put it on maintenance mode the green all these are configuration issues are there let me cluster configure i will disable both of them for now drs i will disable okay because it will start calculating everything and it will ask you to move everything from the host all these things okay now to enter maintenance mode see how quick now bring out i don't want to confuse the host because in my lab if i if it started calculating ha drs all these things it will never go into maintenance mode and we will never never ever upgrade this host okay now you, you know why we need to put the host into maintenance mode imagine if i have a 10 virtual machines running on this host but now i want to upgrade this host so what i have to do i have to move the virtual machines from one host to another host you select the virtual machines migrate them manually onto other host within the same cluster and put this host into maintenance mode so when the, when the host is moved into maintenance mode DRS will not bring any VMs onto, onto this host. So it is sitting ideal now. So you, what you can do, you can simply upgrade the host. Once the upgrade is done, you can exit from the maintenance mode. If you have 
around 60 host in the cluster you you can't do multiple host upgrades at the same time uh, you have to plan in a such a way okay your production should not impact so what do you do you migrate the vms from one host to another host put the host into maintenance mode and upgrade it once upgrade is done exit from the maintenance mode and free up one more host which you want to upgrade and then continue continue with the second host upgrade understood so what i will do already already the host is in maintenance mode if i go to updates updates as of now compliant everything is showing as normal nothing so but i need 6.7 image i need 6.7 image from where i can get let me log in into my main host 192 1.151 let me log in into main host which which has both iso files i'll download it from data store go to data store sata browse iso identify the 6.7 visor this one is the 6.7 right so download it will automatically to your local system or maybe in my dump box close done now what I will do I will go to vCenter if you look at update manager home if i click on it it will take you to home update manager okay or you can go to menu update manager you will get this window okay now you have a couple of options here home it will it will give you an overview and monitor go to event console everything it will capture from here okay fine not an issue let me go to update manager and baselines as of now no baselines updates you can download the updates now but i don't have internet on this on this system so it cannot go and get the updates from internet so only the option is I can use ESXi images, I can import an image locally, okay, and I can upgrade the host. So import, browse, what kind of image? I need a 6.7 image. This is my base image, right? 6.7 image I need to upgrade 6.5 host into 6.7. Understood? Yes. Lord. Done. Image has been image has been uploaded into vCenter. Okay, where it is saved now, it is uploaded into vCenter appliance in some directory. Okay, select and create a new baseline. Baseline is okay new logical name for your image okay so 6.5 to 6.7 use this baseline to upgrade host from 6.5 or 6.0 to 6.7 
automatically automatically it is showing upgrade next this baseline fine finish that's it it will create a logical name that's it if you go to baselines you will see the baseline name similarly similarly when you go to updates and download now it will go and download all the patches from all the patches from vmware.com and if you go to baselines it will show you all the patches into two segregated baselines okay let's say this month you have go, you have downloaded all the definitions so when you check it here okay you might have seen 100 non critical and Sunil? Hello. Hello. Sunil, are you there? Yes, yes. Hello. Hello. Guys, you still there? Looks like I got a y message on the network. Yes, yes. Uh, you, uh, hello. You guys still there, right? Yes. Okay, fine. Yeah. So what I'm what I'm saying patch if you want to create a baseline for patches select the patches okay next it will automatically show you the patches from which date to which date and these patches are already there so you can select and manual patches finish so what it will do it will create a baseline as per your requirement custom baselines now the baseline is the image container which you can attach to any host and ask host to upgrade. Now that's it. Baseline is created. Nothing to do with here. Not, uh, nothing to do here anymore. So go to host and cluster. Host and cluster and select the host which you want to upgrade. Okay. And Attach baseline. Okay, update manager. Somewhere, how to attach this baseline? Attach. Attach baseline. Six point. 6.5 to 6.7 baseline attach okay select and complaints check now now check the complaints Okay, update manager, check compliance. Refresh. Let's see. Nothing. Okay. Unknown baselines. It's okay. Let's see. So what I will do, what I will do, I will go to update for the host and pre-check remediation. Let's see what all the things that it will check. Keep on checking. Come on. It will do during the pre checks, it will check whether there are any virtual machines running or not, whether the host is in the maintenance mode or not, whether if the, if the e, HA and DRS are configured. Okay, it will it will put the HA DRS into suppressed mode 
and bring that host into maintenance mode during the pre checks it will perform all these things but however i have already i have already put it into maintenance mode so no need to do the pre checks so what i can do i can simply select the baseline and remediate if i say remediate it will ask for user license agreement fine now which host you want to remediate this particular host i want to remediate yes click on remediation now let's see scanning man it's okay so let it scan see remediation checks on all it's in queued state it is checking something else okay now let's see in the queued state it will be executed after some time status non-compliant one host is in non-compliant state okay compliant because because the host is running on 6.5 the baseline is 6.7 it will show you show you as a non-compliance only right yes image is 6.7 so it is non-compliant let's see come on PC integrity. Oh, it is system executed. I have cancelled it. That is why it is struck at that point. Few scan entities, few scan entities executed by me. I can cancel it. But system has initiated the scanning because that is a pre-check. Yeah, see the remediation now started. Cancel the scan entity. It's okay. It is still performing the scanning. Once the scanning is done. remediate let's wait and watch nothing to do with it nothing to do with it it will automatically take care of everything remediate entity pre-check pre has been completed it's okay cancel is also completed <laughs> let's wait and watch It's completed. I think scanning is required for upgrade. It's okay. It is already it is already scanned. See how many times it scanned. It should pick up. 
remediation check also completed it's running a bit slow see remediation yes, check sir. yes yes what error hang on there are errors during the remediation operation check the event logs it's failed Let's check and remediate once again. Okay. Host is ready to remediate. Okay. Just click remediate. Now let's try. Remediation entity. So now it's running. Okay. See? It is running. 80%. I know it will stuck here it's in it's in 40 43 percent let me minimize this let me minimize this and i'll go to esxa host because the image has been copied onto esxi and it will do the upgrade in the back end once the system is upgraded rebooted then only vcenter will come to know the upgrade is done or not how it will how it will track the progress it cannot tra track the progress because the, there is a network disconnection between network disconnection between vcenter and esxi host understood yes because image has been copied once the image has been copied what happens it started upgrading during the upgrade it will reboot then it got disconnected from the vcenter once it is disconnected, how it will track the progress? It cannot track the progress over there. Let's see. Now it is kernel is loaded successfully. 6.5 host. If you look at 6.5 host, now it is rebooted with. Now it is rebooted with 6.7. If you look at here. Inside. If you look at inside. 6.5 host with 6.7 understood image is copied and system has been rebooted now it is upgrading in the back end you don't need to do anything you don't need, no need to do anything it will automatically do it for you let's see so it's loaded system is ready that's it it's already done yes okay now you go to v center it should it should straight away go to 90 percent or something and complete see it got disconnected okay right click connect okay so it will reconnect connected now it will it will again retry In some time, still at 44. Yes, see directly. Okay, let me see. It is already upgraded. Okay, go to summary. See, the host is 6.7 now. If I go to exit maintenance mode, go to configure, sorry, monitor, okay, that's okay, that's okay, fine, go to configure, now all the things, if you go to summary, it is already upgraded, have I seen? But, but it, that's fine. These these things we can figure it out. If I put it into ESXi host cluster, or if I put the ESXi host into that cluster, all 
search. Suppress all the warnings. Okay, that's not a big thing. And now you can enable, sorry, go to cluster, configure, one configure, which is turn on. happening yeah so it is up and running only host is not responding that's okay let's see go to green My upgrade check complaints. So I click on check complaints. It is not supporting now. There is some issue, but this is how the upgrade will work. It is already upgraded, but not sure why it is not responding. Connect the host. Let me disconnect the host. Then it's from inventory. Okay. And let me add it back. Oh man. Something wrong with the vCenter itself. A host 192.168.30.60. I'll go with the host name. Now you see 6.7. Now you can add this into the center cluster. It should configure with Okay, Vspare HA agent for this host is an error. Vspare agent cannot be installed or configured. Okay, no mounted data stores. Perfect. So, what I have to do? New data store. At least, at least one data store is required. That's it. Now, this that should configure with data summary. Okay. 
uh, HA is the big problem. Otherwise, host is up and running without any issue. Okay, if you want, you can deploy tiny Linux VM. Delete the tile in a tiny also. It's French. It's okay. Not a big deal. This is how you can upgrade it, man. A lot of issues are there, but the problem is, problem is, we are not working on the real ESXi host. These are the nested ESXi host. Okay, I believe in 7.7.0, you'll not be able to, you will not be able to upgrade even the nested ones. I will also try that. That's a different story. Now, this is one part. Upgrading ESXi is one part. What is the other thing that it will support? Go to Update Manager. VMware Tools. What happens if you have thousands of VM? If there, if there is any VMware tool which is running out of date, maybe, maybe tool is not updated since very long time so you can check and upgrade vmware tools here itself and vmware hardware version is a very important one let let me explain you very quickly if you look at if you look at any esxi host 6.5 right i'll go to virtual machines okay general information general information somewhere VM hardware version must be shown here okay just a moment just a moment Ah. Yeah. Let's see man. VMA tools it's fine. VMA tool version it's fine. I'm not bothered about VMA tools. There is another thing called VM hardware. Okay. So how to get that just a moment on nested es excitements uh, axs xi on es xi correct yes That is that is the reason why we are unable to perform a couple of things. There are some limitations here, but actual procedure is something else. Without any clear documentation, you will not do any upgrades in your real time. But the procedure is what I have shown. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. The procedure will not change, but the thing is, be very careful when you are planning for any upgrades. You see tiny somewhere you see tiny please let me know okay let me do one thing go to data store browse data store Notes, software just a moment I, I want to show you something else if this works fine then yeah done close go inside refresh yeah tiny is there right download close now new virtual machine deploy from template next
create a new virtual machine uh, templates must be from create a new virtual machine next okay okay deploy obf template deploy obf template this is what i'm looking for my bad tiny linux So, somewhere if you have seen, no, okay, next. Put it on, doesn't matter, put it on a local, okay, okay, fine. So, let's do this. See, what it is saying? Any Linux VM is compatible to VM hardware version 9. It is currently running on 9, but 6.7 will support hardware version 14. Means, means, means what? I have ESXi host. One ESXi host. This is running on 5.1. Deployed one virtual machine. It has some limit, right? It has some this much RAM, this much CPU, this much hard disk, this much network, this much performance. You have some limit for this 5.1 virtual machine. So for this virtual machine, they'll assign one hardware version. That hardware version is 9. Okay, this limit is imagine the smaller one. I have a new 6.7 host. Okay, if you bring this VM from here to here, it is still running on hardware version 9 only. That means 6.7 will give you bigger resources in the sense more cpu more ram more hardware more performance more more improved graphics everything is improved but your virtual machine hardware is sitting on 9 it is not capable of taking not capable of taking latest features so each version each esxi version will have their correspondent hardware version for each vm so for 6.7 it is 14 so if you convert your virtual machine into 14 you can you can scale it you can scale it in the sense you can use all the latest features inside your virtual machine otherwise otherwise your virtual machine will work but the problem is it cannot use more features which is available in 6.7 it can use only the features limited to 5.5 5.1 even it is running on 6.7 Understood or any confusion? One more understand. Okay, one more drawback is imagine I have one cluster. I have one cluster. Under the cluster, I have one 6.5 host, one more thing, 6.0 host, one more thing, 6.7 host, 6.7 host, 6.7 host, 6.7 like this i have so many 6.7 host so what you have decided let's upgrade vm hardware to 14. you upgraded all the virtual machine hardware to 14. how to upgrade very simple man that's it but you need a downtime okay in this new version select upgrade to match host okay 
that's it it will automatically change it previous versions right click somewhere compatibility upgrade vm compatibility yes 6.7 letter the same thing understood that's it same thing now it is upgraded but only thing is only the thing is you need a downtime for this you need to shut down your vm upgrade it now you upgraded your virtual machine to 14 so the 14 watch 14 with the hardware version 14 this vm can run on this on this on this on this but it this vm cannot go to here or cannot go to here during the vmotion if you have a mixed host be very careful about the hardware version the latest hardware version cannot go back and sit on older hardware or older esxi and older esxi sorry older hardware can come and sit on six latest 6.7 understood if i have yes, i have i have a few vms few vms running on 6.0 that means they are running on hardware version 11 okay 6.12 i guess 6.5 is 12 and 6.7 it is showing as 14 just for just for, just for your understanding i don't remember exact versions for each 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 esxi but you can you can check it in compatibility matrix but what happens if some of the virtual machines which are running on 6.0 they can always run on 6.7 or they can run on 6.5 if some vms running with hardware version hardware version 12 they can run on 6.5 and they can also run on 6.7 but they can never ever run on 6.0 no they cannot fall back backward compatibility is missing here okay if you are running virtual machines in 14 they must stay in 6.7 only or they can they can do the vmotion here and there within the 6.7 they cannot go back to 6.0 or 6.5 that is a disadvantage just to control that mechanism you see there is one option called vm hardware vmware tools you already know it right select upgrade vm tools as well okay enough any questions no upgrade upgrade is having some issues however upgrade is completed but the messages which have thrown here system operations won't supported that we have to revalidate it but in real time it will 100% will it will work nothing to worry because because you are doing upgrade on a on top of a physical host so it should support okay anyway anyway you are doing upgrade the mandatory the mandatory thing is you need to do, do a poc poc means the, yeah the new version is not impacting anything new version is not having any bugs and new version is okay to go ahead those kind of things you will always perform so no need to worry so but you will have to follow the procedure during the up, host upgrades the procedure is okay plan the host upgrades in such a way so that you will not see any downtime in customer front-end customer environment and the vms will not go down because even if one host goes down for a 15 minutes or 30 minutes during the upgrade it doesn't matter vm should run as it is right but don't plan too many host upgrades at a time that will impact your business clear yes so with this let's stop here we'll catch up tomorrow we'll try to cover it off the templates clones and content librarians okay okay let me stop here